Hello guys, this is Damian from forexboat.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trades you see here are with and only educational purpose. Currently, we're looking at the 5 minute chart of the British pound New Zealand dollar forex pair. As you see, the price action is currently moving into an expanding triangle with bearish inclination. See that the price creates lower tops and at the same time lower bottoms. However, the intensity of the decreasing bottoms is higher than the intensity of the decreasing top, which causes the expanding character of the triangle. Usually, the expanding triangles with bearish inclination have strong bullish potential. However, to confirm this, we would need to see the price action breaking the upper level of the triangle. And currently, what we are seeing is that the price attempts to bounce from the upper level of the pattern. Another confirmation of the bounce is the dodgy candle you see here. The dodgy candle has strong reversal potential, meaning that the previous bullish impulse could be reversed by the dodgy candle. So if we now see a candle closing below the dodgy, which is currently happening on the 5 minute chart, we will short now the British pound New Zealand dollar attempting to catch an upcoming bearish impulse. We just saw 0.5 loss from the British pound New Zealand dollar. At the same time, you should, uh, you should close the trade in case the price action breaks the upper level of the expanding triangle because this will imply that the bounce from the upper level of the triangle is not valid. However, the requirements of our broker do not allow us to put the stop loss order so tight due to the spread uh, conditions we're using. Therefore, we will just put a stop loss order as tight as possible. As you see, the stop loss order is currently not visible because um, it is out of the side out of the side of the chart. Here it is. When we switch to the 15 minute chart, we have the stop loss order here somewhere at 1.7356. We can adjust it as much as we can, but that's all we can do. However, it is not necessary to wait the stop loss order to be hit in order to close a losing trade. If we see a candle expanding above the upper level of the triangle, closing above the upper level of the triangle, we will immediately close our order. At the same time, if a price anomaly occurs on the chart and the British pound New Zealand dollar creates a sharp bullish run due to some kind of an economic event or political situation, um, somewhere in in britain or uh, in new zealand uh, the stop loss order will protect us from such a huge event so as we said we will stay in the trade for a target at least to the lower level of the expanding triangle meaning that a take profit order could be adjusted here So it will contain potential price decrease in a good way. As you see, we adjusted the stop loss order right below the interaction point of the vertical distance of the current candle and the lower level of the pink expanding triangle, the purple expanding triangle. So in case the price action shoots instantly during the current period, we will hit the take profit order which interacts with the lower level of the expanding triangle. At the same time, when the price action moves to the right, we can adjust the stop loss order lower and lower so it will contain the lower level of the expanding triangle. And I repeat again, we are unable to adjust the stop loss order tight above the last stop of the expanding triangle due to our broker's spread requirements. Uh, therefore, we will, we will uh, close our trade immediately after we see 
in case we see the price action closing a candle above the upper level of the expanding triangle. Therefore, we will we will uh, carefully observe our trade in order to be able to react immediately because this is a scalp trade and most of the scalp trade needs to be monitored constantly. Uh, and the reason for this is the unavailability to put the stop loss order type on a small chart. So now let's mark the levels we use to enter on the to enter this trade. So we sold the British pound New Zealand dollar somewhere near 1.7309. 1.7309. Okay, putting a take profit order at, let's mark this one with green, at 1.7282, for example, 1.7282. Meaning that we will stay in the trade for a profit of uh, about 27 pips. Let's zoom in the chart again. I will point again the dodgy candle, the dodgy reversal candle and the immediate bearish candle afterwards, which was the reason why we closed the short trade after all. The bearish candle closed below the doji, breaking its lower level and giving confirmation about the authenticity of the reversal functions of the doji. Here it is, the low of the doji candle. And now the price action hesitates below the upper level of the purple expanding triangle. Let's see the 15 minute chart. How things look like over there. The interesting thing is the slight bearish gap uh, created between the close of the last bullish candle and the open of the new candle, which is currently bearish. The gap is right over here, this small distance. But uh, every gap is a premise to believe that the price action demonstrates such. Uh, some extraordinary activity, for example, like change in the direction or increase in the forces, in our case, the bearish forces. Also, if this 15 minute candle finishes in its current state, we'll have another bearish pattern on the chart, reversal pattern called uh, a Harami pattern, where a candle is fully engulfed by its ancestor this is the ancestor over here and this is the new candle as you see the body is fully contained by the body of the previous bullish candle which is another implication that the price action is reversing let's check the one minute chart now the one minute chart uh, shows an interesting pattern called uh, uh, ascending tops and bottoms uh, i mean descending tops and bottoms i apologize Meaning that the bottoms of the price action are decreasing as well as the tops. Here it is. Furthermore, this decrease happens in something like a channel, bearish channel. Another confirmation that uh, the bearish force looks like the, the stronger one. Switching again to the 5 minute chart. Okay, I suggest that we pause the video now and get back to this trade later to see uh, what is going to happen, if the price is going to get close to our take profit order, or if it will take uh, more time, meaning that we were going to shift the take profit order uh, down and down with the price move to the right. So the take profit will be as close as possible to the lower level of the expanding triangle, because as you see, each decrease causes an interaction with the lower level of the expanding triangle and this is the potential we're looking uh, we're looking to turn into reality now 
So let's pause the video and let's get back later to see uh, what's happening to this trade. Okay, guys, we're back about 10 minutes later to see that the price action has decreased. Uh, and it is getting close to our target. However, uh, 10 minutes means like a 2 or 5 minute period over here. Uh, which uh, creates distance between our take profit order and the lower level of the expanding triangle with bearish inclination. Meaning that we can adjust the take profit order lower for further target. In order to try and catch additional profits on the chart. And now let's mark the current take profit level on the chart. This is like 4 pips more. And this is why we decided to get back. At the same time we can also adjust our stop loss order lower since the price decreased in order to make the trade more secure. And that's it. Okay, let's pause the video again and get back in about 10 minutes or more whenever the price action gets even closer to our target. Okay guys, we're back about 15 minutes later to see that the price action created a very sharp decrease hitting our initial target on the chart at 1.7282. However, the adjusted take profit order is still untouched because it is lower, somewhere near at 1.7278, meaning that our trade is still active. Uh, however, we believe that the price action will um, attempt to create a more certain interaction with the lower level of the expanding triangle, meaning that we intend to keep our trade open until our take profit is reached on the chart. So let's pause the video one more time and get back to see a completed target on the chart. And we're back about uh, 15 more minutes later to see that the price action has, uh, has hit uh, our take profit order at 1.7278, closing our trade uh, on full success. Also, I remind that this is the second target we set on the chart because the price action has shifted to the right. And since we are pursuing price interaction with the lower level of the expanding triangle, uh, we had sufficient reason to shift our target downwards since the bottoms of the price action are declining. Meaning that a sideways price move would require us to adjust our take profit order lower and lower. Our trade was closed on profit. 31 pips profit, which is um, somewhere near 0.2%. Uh, we entered the trade at 1.7309 and we closed at 1.7278. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this was Damien from ForexBolt.com. I'm looking forward to see you on the live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.